There's a new editing style on YouTube that is amassing hundreds of thousands of views for any creator of any size on YouTube. And it's so easy and simple to execute on that you would be crazy to not give it a shot. So if you're thinking about starting a new YouTube channel or you already have a channel and you want more video ideas, this is it. Let's talk about the five benefits of clean editing. Number one is genuine connection. When you remove all of the smoke and mirrors, the fast transitions, the crazy pattern interruptions that we're used to, you are likely to be more invested into what someone has to say. When they're talking to you as a friend, across the table, sitting at a Starbucks, you're more likely and inclined to listen. And if I'm providing actual value to you and teaching you something, providing several takeaways, you're more likely to engage with my content in the future. And I'm not going to lie to you, there's plenty of videos that I've released on this channel in the past. You guys can go watch older videos where I'm editing with the pattern interruptions, I'm putting sound design in there, crazy fast transitions, basically doing all of the retention hack editing that I learned as a professional videographer and a full-time YouTuber at my day job. But I've noticed that two very negative things start to happen when you edit for hack retention. Negative number one is that you're less authentic and less genuine because you're almost rushing your message, you're trying to speak faster, you're trying to be less boring, you're trying to really just kind of fly through the video. And that takes us into negative number two where if you cut a video that is just so focused on transitions, explosions, trying to be fast, you're adding little Spongebob memes to try and make it funny. Sometimes the point of the video can go over the head of the viewer and they'll probably just remember how great of an edit it was, but not necessarily the actual message that you were trying to convey or portray in that video. So when you finally grow up and do away with all of those crazy tactics to try and trick people to watch your video, then the audience starts to really connect with you because they're seeing that you are being genuine and authentic and the best part is that it requires a little less work on your side number two is mature tone i don't know about you but my channel is not meant for little kids with goldfish attention spans that want to see spongebob memes or little dancing hula girls over here in fast transitions that's not my audience i'm a 35 year old pro videographer pro youtuber pro business owner trying to encourage and motivate people like you, regular everyday people, to get started on YouTube. And this is something that I'm very, very passionate about, and I'm trying to find people that have that same mature tone. Sure, I can go back to hack retention editing and maybe get some subscribers, but at the end of the day, which kind of subscribers are you looking for and who is more valuable to you? With clean editing, you set the tone, you set the pace, you set the expectation, and hopefully that is going to bring you the correct audience to your YouTube channel. Number three is timeless appeal or evergreen content, meaning that whoever comes back and watches your videos, whether it's three years from now, five years, 10 years from now, they can come back and watch this video and there's not going to be any clues given in the editing as to when this video was produced. And that's kind of the trap in trend editing is that you can go back and watch a video and maybe eight times out of 10, you can say, yeah, this is an old video that was edited in 2019 because it's got like the bright green bubble text pop-ups. It's got trending sounds of that era. And when people come back and find an old video like this on a topic that they're interested in, if you have editing styles or techniques that are just going to give it away, people will click off because they know it's an old video and it may not be relevant. And this video that you're watching right now where I'm sitting at a Starbucks, unless dad hats go out of style like in the next three years or Apple watches just don't exist anymore, you may not really be able to pinpoint when this video was made and you might actually still be watching it if you're interested in this topic five or 10 years from now. And that's awesome. Think about it. How many videos on YouTube have you watched that you were legitimately interested in and halfway through the video, you look at the year that it was published and realize that it's a video from like 10 years ago. It happens to me all of the time because usually I'm searching a topic, I have a question to something, or I just wanna hear a discussion, and it turns out that the videos that are evergreen, those are the ones that stand the test of time. And generally, for the most part, a lot of them are clean editing, just like this video. Number four, faster production. Guys, these videos are so easy to edit, right? As long as you have a hook, a setup, re-engagement, some talking points, just how this video is formatted, you are going to be able to go home and slam out and edit within an hour 
when you shoot a video like this. I've edited a ton of videos that were published on NBC, ABC, Apple TV, Telemundo, Univision, Unimas. Those projects take a very, very long time because usually I have to go find B-roll, assets, I'm waiting on people to record an interview, I have to find the right style of music, and there is nothing worse than taking hours upon hours or days or even weeks or even one project that took me about three months to edit and just turn around and put out on Apple TV. Oh my gosh, I'm, the, the PTSD is so real. And that's why this point of faster production is my favorite out of all of these benefits is because I can just come here, post up for 30 minutes, have a conversation, have my video ready to go, and I can pump this out the next day. Everyone's YouTube channel is different, of course, so if you wanna go for the fun, flashy, going to extravagant locations, driving to a different city, like I've done all of those before, but usually you're taking up an entire day or maybe the span of a few days. With this style of video, I can just come to this local coffee shop just down the road, slam out a video pretty quickly and move on to the next one. So yeah, I'm a big fan of faster production, getting more videos out and getting more tips to help people out just like you and me. And if you're enjoying this video right now, make sure to subscribe. I wanna grow this channel. I wanna help more creators out there. But let's talk about benefit number five. Number five is accessibility. Anybody can edit in this style. It is so easy. If you just understand symbol in and outs or symbol hard cuts, it doesn't take much to produce a video like this. It is the easiest thing in the world. If you are afraid of editing, if you're scared of editing, don't be. This is the easiest type of video that you can make, but it's also the most effective video. We're seeing right now a ton of new creators with little to no experience on video creation, getting hundreds of thousands of views just by recording in their bedroom, their living room, or even in a shed. And yeah, a lot of those creators have professional video editing experience like myself, but guess what? We are ditching everything we know to just go back to the basics and deliver a good quality video with a good quality message. I just want to acknowledge that I am so happy that the old style of YouTube is dying because honestly, that has ruined us as a society we can't pay attention for longer than 30 seconds without seeing pop-ups, explosions, crazy transitions. And I am so happy that we have arrived here together where we are able to really pay attention and find the value in clean editing. And look, I get it. Starting YouTube can be very, very scary. You may not have the tools. You may not know how to talk to a camera. You may not even know how to get started. But guess what? I created this video right here, talking about the four most common fears and misconceptions about starting a YouTube channel. Go check it out and remember to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.